Valerie here so welcome back to my channel so in this video I'm going to be reviewing the love me virgin hair now love me reached out to me on Instagram I feel like such a youtuber they wanted to do a collab with me on this hair that I'm wearing right now so I'll leave all of the information about this hair right here so you guys are able to see that just to review the hair to see if I like it make videos photos and everything so I'm like of course free hair it's summertime I need girls send me the hair this is the hair that I'm reviewing and it's actually very very cute so if you guys want to see all of the details about this hair then definitely keep on watching so this is what the packaging looks like the box was kind of crushed but hey whatever you know when you first open up the box the first thing that I saw was this purple baggy thing it's super cute the wig came in there this is the wig it has an elastic band it has an extra lace which is good and the hair is very thick guys I want you guys to know that and then the second thing is this two-in-one flat iron slash curling iron which is very 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 useful because honestly two-in-one you can use this to travel when you switch the flip down it's the flat iron and then when you flip the switch up it's the curling iron so this is perfect for people who travel photo shoots and they also gave me this red baggie and I really love it because it's portable and inside are all the tools that you will need to install your hair. They gave me a comb, they gave me a hair wax, which I've never tried before but it is very beneficial. I really like, I really want you guys to use this. They gave me an extra band and they gave me bobby pins, what else did they give me? All right. They gave me a tweezer and clips and a wig cap. What else? Is that it? I think that's it. Oh no, they gave me a pamphlet on how to take care of the hair. Bam! <laughs> so, I'm not sure what this part is I was showing you guys earlier. I don't want to put it under the lace because when you put it under, I'm not sure if you guys can see but you can see the pattern underneath and I don't like that and I don't think it's supposed to be like that. I'm not sure so I'm just gonna fold it over and just leave it like that. And then I like that it has the adjustable strap so I'm just gonna take the adjustable strap and I'm going to put the wig on. So the adjustable strap is gonna be like this, I think. It's like putting on a headband. I am going to put the wig on. Ooh, that's not what I expected. <laughs> okay, oh. Okay. There we go. Just like right now, this is how we're looking. So, I don't know if you guys can see, but to me, the front is already pre plucked. I'm not gonna go ahead and pluck anymore. So they have a lot of tools that they gave along with, I don't know what I'm doing. So in this bag that they sent me, they sent me two little clips that you're able to use to push the hair back so you're able to style it and get it ready. You know, my mom is cooking in the back so if you guys hear stuff, that's her. I have my own clips too so I have a lot of clips right now. When they sent me the hair, it was already beautifully styled. Like it was curled, it was so nice, so thick and I loved it. But the thing is, I don't think the lace was bleached and so I just went on ahead and bleached the lace and might as well wash it while you're at it so now the curls are gone this is what it looks like in its natural state so what I did is once I was done washing it and conditioning it I put this coconut milk in there is the detangling and conditioning leave-in conditioner I always put this in my hair or my wigs whatever it may be I just put it in there just gonna take the clips and I'm going to clip the hair back so nothing is in my face or anything So many clips. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in so you guys can see like everything. <laughs> the only thing I'm nervous about is that this the the adjustable strap is like really at where the sideburn should be. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. I'm just not used to it. So I'm gonna have to be really careful with that part so I don't mess it up because 
I don't want to mess it up. Second step, I'm going to take my scissors and we're going to start cutting. Ooh. So I'm going to cut the lace. I'm going to start in the middle. Can cut. Can you guys see that? Okay. Then I am going to go and Now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to go like that because you don't want it to be straight, you know what I mean? Okay, so the way I see it, you don't really need to glue down this way at all. You can gel it down, but you don't need to glue it down. Before I even get into doing the baby hairs, I just want to talk to you guys about this wig just a little bit. So, to me, I just want to be bluntly honest. To me, I would rate this hair a 9, like 8.5, 9. The only reason that I'm not giving this hair a 10 out of 10 is because like this hair has a lot of benefits and just one con. Like I, I'm not going to lie to you. So the benefit of this hair is you literally don't have to use glue. You don't have to gel it down. You don't have to do anything because the elastic band keeps everything tight. This could be an everyday, day-to-day -day type of wig for some people. You know what I mean? Just throw it on. Of course, you know, maybe style it, but throw it on and you're ready to go. You have the security with the elastic band. Of course, you can do this, you know, with it. But if you don't touch it and you just do your edges, the baby hairs, you'll be fine with some gel. Also, you don't have to worry about your edges, like rubbing off with the wig and the friction. So your edges will be saved. Your coloration of your forehead will be saved, so it's up to you because I know you guys know that that glue causes discoloration. I don't care what nobody says. No, I don't care what nobody says. But the only thing about this wig is that they went on ahead and sewed the elastic band on the flap that you're supposed to pull to the side to make your sideburns. So to some people, they might not care. Like to me, I don't really care about it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to gel my own baby hair down, you know, to do it like that. The front, I may use the own wigs baby hair. And then at the sides, I'm going to use my own baby hair and put everything down together. That's why I rated this hair 9 because to me, an everyday type of thing because I work out a lot. I go to the gym. But still, you know, to some people, this can be annoying. And I got really annoyed with it at first, but... I kind of know what to do with it, but you know what I mean? So I'm going to go ahead and continue to install this wig. So I'm going to place this wig where I want it to be. Pull this down a little bit more. Pull this down a little. Okay. So you don't want too much hair. So I'm just going to take a scissors like that and I'm going to cut the baby hairs. I'm also going to gel down pieces of my hair with this, so I'm going to pull some of my hair out, pull some out, pull some of my edges out because, <laughs> girl, I don't know what we's doing. Oh, you know, my hair's braided in, so 
So I have my edge brush. So I'm gonna take some. This is Valerie's twin. Do not, I hope you know I'm gonna post you in it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi guys, guys. Yes, follow my channel. It's called Lewis Squared. L O U I S S Q U A R E D on YouTube. <laughs> I haven't uploaded a video in like 500 billion years, but still, follow me. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and gel down the baby hairs, guys. I try my hard not to. Cur I try my best not to curse. So. Sugar plums mean, oh shit, you just cursed. Oh shit, oh, sugar okay. plum, okay. Oh Jesus. Oh boy, oh boy. That can't be part of the video because I don't got no butt. Jen deletes the science girl. Jen, 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 Jen. No, no, okay. Um, this is just common knowledge. My oh, okay, get just, out, get out. My sister is just doesn't have common knowledge okay. except for makeup you're rude as hell Get the just doing your edges is time consuming and honestly we've talked I don't do my edges because I ain't nothing <laughs> I ain't got none where'd you post that? just do me what about you? I never posted you yes we do you record me and post me when I was shaking my ass. This is what we're working with. It doesn't look that bad, guys. Look at it, Janine. Look, it doesn't. Yo, this look. You know it's not. Know it's not perfect. Like I'm talking about just the wig, like not being able to come to the side. This doesn't look that bad for it. It actually looks pretty natural. Okay, so I think it's been like five minutes. I wanted to do a, a styling and a installing separately, but I feel like this video. It's gonna be super short, so I think I might just add them both together. Nice and softly. Let's see how this looks. Right, so I'm gonna go ahead and style this hair really quickly for you guys. Nothing crazy, I'm just gonna go ahead and curl um, the hair with the curling iron that they sent me. I'm taking my rings off because I'm about to add some oil. But this curling iron, I was just talking to Jen and showing it to her. And she made a great point, like this is perfect for traveling so you don't have to carry too many things at once because it is two in one so you have a curling iron and then when you hit the dial in the back you have a flat iron. So that is really unique and it's really universal so if you guys need that I suggest you do it. So first off I'm going to go ahead and pick a side like a parting so I think should I do middle? Jen, should I do middle or side? This bitch is so not useful. So I'm gonna do a side parting because I always do middle. So I'm gonna part it to this side. Should I part it to the side? I always part it to that side. I'm gonna part it to this side because this side looks better than this side. I don't forget. I'm not sure. I'm gonna go ahead and take my L'Oreal oil and I'm gonna put some in my hand. And up front too. So then I'm gonna take my hot comb and I'm gonna flatten this out. I know a lot of people like it puffy but I like this part to be flat to me it looks more natural but it's a preference I guess
brush this out with one of my brushes and I want big loose curls so I'm not going to do them too tight. Um, I'm going to take the curling iron and I'm going to curl it. Oh, hold it. Seconds. Hmm. Cute. I'm not gonna lie too, I said I want big curls, but the reason I want big curls is because I'm going to church, I'm late, my mother's already out the shower, and she gets dressed in like two seconds, and if she sees me still here recording, she's going to kill me. So Big curls it is. She will literally kill me, guys. Like, you don't understand. Haitian parents, doesn't matter, like, how old you are. They'll just, they, they'll kill you. All right. Right, Dad? You know what? I know what I can do. This process is easier. I'm going to take the flat iron and curl it. So, I usually curl my hair like this anyways. So, you see how universal this product is? You can literally curl it. You can use the flat iron to curl and straighten your hair. I'm going to show you guys. Look. So next up, I'm going to take the Love Me Hair Wax Stick. So the hair wax stick is basically for the flyaways. Like if you can see like the little hairs that's sticking up, up there. It doesn't really smell like, I don't know. So let's see how this works. I've always, hey, this actually works. This stick is actually pretty nice. So the curly, the two-in-one curling iron and the flat iron, I would rate this a 10 out of 10 because not only can you use the curling iron, but you can use the flat iron to curl the hair as well and you can flat iron it. So if one part is broken, you're still good, you know what I mean? I love this invention. I've never seen something like that. So that right there is good for me. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for my next video. Bye guys.